I call that spider science fiction spider because it looks more like science fiction than spider there was a fly there a minute ago how can I fool it to get a bit of action but it does look science fiction covered in spikes doesn't it There's science fiction spider, like a haunt melon, isn't it? Sorry to disappoint it. That's a piece of leaf, not food. That's the spiders we have in Australia anyway. The science fiction spider. Well, I call them science fiction because that's what they look like. That's only a small one. They can get a bit bigger than that. Wow. Oh. Aren't they amazing? Wow. Oh. Oops, where are you? There you are. See how small it is compared to my finger. Oh. And what's interesting too, if you look at their webbing, their webbing has a little white spot every little inch or so, what every millimeter, every what centimeter. I don't know why that is, but it must be to catch some particular type of spider, uh, a particular type of uh, prey. I mean, it's like um, knitting or something. Oh. It's like sports knitting or something for people who play games, soccer and everything. They're carefully measured with a little spot every now and again. They are. Where are you? There you are. I've got a mosquito eating my leg. Oh. I'll throw a mosquito at that spider in a minute. Well, we better leave it alone, hadn't we? It's got all its wonderful reserves of energy. We don't want it wasted on bits of leaf in this heat. It, that shed behind that spider is over 110 at the moment, inside that shed. So it's very hot. Beautiful science fiction spider. What does it look like with sunglasses on? Oh, mm, much the same. Handheld, handheld view of Australian science fiction spider. Only one side of it, mind you. Is that the top, the top side or the bottom side? Let's just have a little look at the webbing. There's a view of the webbing with the marks on them. <laughs>